LD is presenting to the emergency room with multiple first degree burns. And you know what could have saved him? Some fire resistant potions. That's right, we are building a automatic brewing system. So, what inspired me to build this was Ito's Indie Brewer from one of his Minecraft Let's Play episodes. And I just reworked it. These are my tweaks to Ethos Indie Brewer design. So as you can see, it is quite simple. We have multiple hoppers going into every side of the brewing stand except for the side that is facing us and the side that is facing behind the brewing stand. On the left side, we have a dispenser dispensing water bottles that will get always refilled once there is another water bottle inside of here and the brewing stand can accept it. Behind, we have a comparator signal, taking out a signal from the dropper pointing into the top of the brewing stand, which reads a signal strength of two, which reads 19 and three filler items and an actual brewing item. From this position, the right line leads into a block into a redstone torch, which triggers this, the item section where we can dispense item into this top hopper, which retrieves all of the next items to go inside the filter. One step down to the left, we power a block, which powers a redstone repeater, powers into this block, locking the hopper underneath the brewing stand. This is important. We need the hopper underneath the hopper underneath the brewing stand to send a signal up redstone torches through a redstone torch tower onto the hopper, which we put in the blaze powder. After that, you put a redstone dust right on top of that hopper, which points into the top hopper. Hidden on the redstone line to the right here is a torch, which powers and unpowers the water bottle dispenser hopper. And that is mainly it. Here is the order of which you will put in your items for brewing. So this dropper will get triggered first. This one is your ingredient hopper, what you want it to be. The back facing one is your extension or maximizing ingredient, be it redstone or glowstone. The second to last one could be your splash or lingering ingredient. And the last one will only be your nether wart. And this lever we placed behind here, locking the top hopper into sending any ingredients pass for the next ingredient pass. So this will just stop the system from working, but it won't destroy the system. So how does it work? Well, the bottom hopper is locked because there are items in the system. This is not based on a timer. This is based off of if then contraptions. We have this hopper that shows us a two signal strength or a one signal strength. Once it gets to a one signal strength, we lock this hopper and we run the clock again to input items into the system. And with that time, we remove all of the items from the brewing stand. And because an item gets tossed into the hopper system, this torch tower becomes on and locks the top hopper, preventing the next items to flow in and get sucked into the hopper system down below. Now to start off the system, you're going to have to build it like this and then power on the lever. Once you do that, you get a water bottle. This dispenser is full of empty bottles, but you need one to kickstart off the system. So all you have to do is place a water bottle in here. The next thing you have to do is place a nether wart in here. Nothing else at the top, just another wart. Make sure everything is full up before you start the system and then you can turn it on. There's quite a startup process but it'll eventually stop on its own because chest or whatever you're, you're using for the system will eventually fill up the hopper lines and turn on this comparator which stops items from flowing in. This is your blaze powder supply. It really doesn't go down that much. You can keep refilling it from here. Every single dropper is easily accessible from any of the sides. In fact, you could put hopper lines to each one of these to keep it restocked. In fact, there's really no worry to the system, except you might want to cover up the top hopper here so that no stray items can come inside it. This has been my tweaks to Ethos Indie Brewer. Hope to see you around next time. Have a good day, good night, good life. Bye. Before it fell apart